guys, I'm back with another video today and if you like how this look went from somewhat bad to turning out good, then keep watching. Okay, so first I'm starting with Maybelline's Age Rewind Eraser. I'm kind of annoyed because this is everyone's favourite. I've tried this before, I've used it like twice and it's gone like down there. How? I've literally used it twice. So for $8.99, this is a bit of a rip off because that means if I, if I use this every day for like a week or two, it'd probably be finished. Let's put this on. This is full coverage, I do like it. Okay, that was a bit much. But I'm also not a fan of that wet sponge feeling. Can't even see that. Okay, so now the foundation is on. It, I think it matches in quite well, considering I wasn't going to buy the shade. I was going to get one that's like four or so shades lighter than me. Okay, so next we're taking our matte makeup. I felt so stupid when I first got this. I tried turning it and it just wouldn't turn. I thought there was some kind of lock on it that I was going to take back to the shop and ask how to undo this. I literally had to go on YouTube and search how to open it. No, none of the videos helped me. Someone in the comment was like, I pressed down and I like, turned it or something. So I tried it and I managed to unlock it, but I mean, it's good for traveling. It means it ain't gonna open, but it's actually moving in the thing. Oh my God, it just came out. It literally just came out. I could put this in like a, like a pro palette, like a magnetized, Oh my god, that's so weird. Well, good for travelling. <laughs> you can take it out. It's quite powdery in. It has a lot, you're not going to see that. It has a lot of fall out. So just powder this as it's a satin foundation and I want to be matte. Next, we're going on to the cheeks. So this is their Master Sculpt Bronzing and Highlighting Kits in medium dark. I am actually so like shook. I thought it's just this. It actually comes with a brush which I've just lost. Oh, here it is. That looks so weird. And it has a mirror. That's so good for travelling as well. It says it's dark, but that contour and highlight. In what universe is that dark? Um, I'm not sure about that shape. That is definitely way too cool for me. I don't. I like bronzy. It looks so muddy and ashy. Maybe on further people, but for me, that's a no-no. I can see what people mean, and I, I know a lot of people get upset when people use bronzing as contouring. Makeup is makeup, there's no rules, and if it works for you, then it works for you. No point bashing other people just because you're some makeup expert. Half of these people ain't even like makeup. Uh, it's so don't need me now we're trying to chat. I mean it's good, I'm not gonna diss it, but I it's just not for me. I'm not into that coolness. I'm not a very cool person. It's a pink highlighter. And look, it's like one third is a highlighter. Why don't they do half and half? Because I know I'd be using the highlight more really. You can't even Oh my god, Maybelline, what is with your products? Major fallout. He's going to use one third of a... Anyway... Oh my god, I thought this would be more matte. It's quite... Mm. Just going to powder my nose. Mm. Mm -hmm. That's what I'm talking about. If I'm being honest, I would have use this every day if the contour was warm. I'd use it up obviously I'm not going to waste product but it looks like I'd want to buy again. It looks good and natural it's just it's just not for me I'm not feeling it. Oh yeah by the way I think I forgot to mention this is the Master Shape Brow Pencil. It says Deep Brown so that's the name. Okay, so I'm going to talk about the products while I just finish off 
my eyes foundation I'm shook I'm surprised I don't know how I feel about it yet but I need to see the long wear and just like use it for like a week and see how it is with my skin but so far so good I'm just shook about the, the colour I really didn't think it would match so well eyebrows looking so damn dodgy next concealer it is amazing and I do love it and I get the hype of it but you use and waste so much product that I literally could do my whole face and I don't think I even use that much but because the man that comes out $8.99 it's a bit of a rip off considering how far it goes down within a couple of uses I do prefer my Colourpop one it's cheaper well not cheaper when it comes to customs it's about the same price <laughs> obviously with with Colourpop I could buy like three for the price of one of these so customs isn't that bad if I buy in bulk then I won't have to buy as much powder I like the powder it's okay it's called matte it matted me I like it contour highlight I'm just gonna have to just use that for a while because the highlight's good but I'm looking in the mirror now and I can't there's no contour you don't you don't see one in the camera you can because obviously in camera you can see everything <laughs> you can see blemishes you know you didn't even have my final brow still MUA's number one for that one let's just move on to eyes next time I'm doing eyeliner and mascara this is liquid so pray to the gods this goes right because I never use liquids because I've tried master precise before and it was poop I don't recommend anyone using that but I decided to pick the line refine liquid liner it just looks like it's got a really really thin tip so thin you may not be able to see it skills are pretty shit compared to my pen and even that ain't that good next is the big eyes mascara pretty weird i've never had a mascara where you have an upper lashes and a lower lashes so let me take them both off and show you so this is what it looks like so the upper one's quite big and the lower one is really really <laughs> look at how tiny they are Hold on there Maybelline Oh my god my lashes look so long I think this is the longest of all brands Mascara has made my lashes They look so long, they look so fluttery, they like, they're not clumpy so mm, I'm liking this Oh my god Let's move on to lips Okay so update Eyeliner, not really, not a fan, just for the fact I've got like gaps. Oh my god, this side is terrible. I'm not gonna comment on the eyeliner, I'm gonna use it again in daily life when I'm near mirror and then update you guys later. Mascara, I'm lit, I'm loving it. It makes my eyes popping. I am shook. I I knew maybe it was really good anyways, but for me I think they're quite good. There's some hit and misses, some I'll try again, some I wouldn't, but overall, thumbs up, better than freaking elf, <laughs> that was a disaster. Next, I'm going really bright, to take away from the fact I'm not wearing eyeshadow, <laughs> this is in the colour 25 orange shot, orange shot, I thought this was red, so I will not be happy if it looks orange. <laughs> flat I got that from like Primark and all the cheap ones I wasn't expecting someone like Maybelline to have a flat where did the dough for applicator go? why is it flat? let's do a smell test first 
Be careful also to do my nose because I've touched my nose and I've realised so many times I've had to re record. It's got a weird. I've never smelled that li lipstick before, it's weird. No offence, but I'm going to offend. It smells like old ladies. Like that really sweet, vanilla-y, perfumey type. Okay, that is red. Okay, it's not very wet, it's quite dry, but it's creamy. Oh, this flat thing is not doing anything. You're gonna have to do a few um, applications because it's not like opaque when you first do it. And it's a mess, it goes everywhere. It goes on so sheer the first layer. Okay, I'm done with that. Honestly, in a video, that is the longest I've ever took to apply it. This is the type of lipstick that you'd put on in the morning and you wouldn't reapply. Like you'd forget about it, if it wears off, it wears off. Because it just, it's a nuisance to put on. It shouldn't take that long to become opaque. It shouldn't take that long to look natural. So that wraps it up. I have enjoyed everything. The only thing I wouldn't buy again is maybe the bronze, the highlight duo and the lips. Everything else is perfect. I do believe the foundation has oxidised, it has gone a tiny bit darker, but it's worked to my favour. Oh yeah, and I also wouldn't buy the brows, not a fan of the brows, it doesn't look good. Everything else is perfect. 10 out of 10 Maybelline, you did well. You should comment down below, have you, tr oh. <laughs> have you tried Maybelline? Of course everyone in the life has tried Maybelline except for me. Actually yeah, before this video I don't think I've ever tried a Maybelline product. Oh my god, I've never ever in my life tried Maybelline. So that is the end of the video. Hope you guys liked it, but until then, I'll see you guys next time.